Ubisoft stock price drops another 7% amid shareholder uncertainty. But that's not all. On top of that, Ubisoft is being pressured to go private as share prices continue to fall. What? Are you worried? Primo, as the Gronken financial consultant, can you explain what is going on? So Star Wars Outlaws is fucked. Skull and Bones was completely fucked. On top of that, Assassin's Creed is going to be majority fucked. That game will do better just on Assassin's Creed name base alone than Outlaws, but it's still not going to be good. Seems like they fucked up. Uh, and then on top of that, what do they have in the works? Another Far Cry game. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Another Assassin's Creed game. Another Rainbow Mobile. Rainbow Six Mobile, which got delayed. They saw a huge boost with Rainbow Six Siege. That's the fucking Jinxy effect. Yeah. <laughs> One and man is carrying that whole community. And I've sucked penis before. Yeah, it, 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 Rainbow is getting bigger and bigger, but I don't think one game can carry all these fails. I really, like, you know what I mean? It's fail after fail after fail after fail. I don't think that they're going to have to, like, cut down on so many other games, right? Like, they, they're probably going to cut the Far Cry budget now and fire more people. Like, it's going to be a, for, for one game, well, like, one, I just don't see how it can carry after all these fails. The stock price is hovering around $15, $16 US. Jesus Christ, this is terrible. That's what it, I did the, it's up a couple cents, I believe, from when I checked. But that $13 is roughly $15, $16 US. If you go back to, uh, if you hit the one year mark on the stock price, you're going to see something interesting. I'm going to bring this up. It, the peak of it is just over about 30 euros. That's their peak in this year, is is just over 30 euros. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. Here's the thing. People are now saying, hey, we need to take this company private. How does that work? You may be asking yourselves. Remember what happened with Twitter, with Elon? Where he goes to the company, he makes an offer. He says, I'm going to pay this amount per share in the company and I'm going to buy X amount of shares. You don't have to buy the whole company. You don't have to buy all shares outright. You just need to buy enough that it can be delisted from the stock exchange because there is a, a threshold. So a private company can only have so many people who actually own it before it's like, all right, you have to be public. So what's gonna end up happening is whoever is gonna come in, probably venture capitalists, I think that's the most likely scenario. If it's a video game company that's buying them, I think Sony's the most likely one. But to be honest, I don't think a video game company is going to buy Ubisoft. I think I think it's going to be investors that want to come in and get a slice of the pie. And I think it's going to be a smaller investment group and they're going to be located in Europe. I don't know where. I don't have a hunch on who. This is like my gut feeling based on the information I've seen. And just let's be realistic. If you're going to buy a big company like that, we got to look at the likelihood of other companies doing it, right? We rule out Microsoft immediately. That's not happening. Tell Bill Gates to suck my ass, mom. And if they try to do it, I think it's going to end up in an antitrust lawsuit with the uh, Federal Trade Commission in the States. It's not happening. Activision barely squeaked through. And part of it was Microsoft had to do this weird deal with cloud rights where part of their cloud rights in Europe ended up going to Ubisoft. Like there was a, a it's a fucking weird deal that they had to concoct just to be able to get this through the FTC, the European Commission that covers this, the British authorities. It was a fucking shit show of magnitude to get that. And if we look at Microsoft, they're scaling back. They're laying people off. I think they've expanded as much as they're going to for the time being. If anything, we're going to see them pull away from hardware and then go harder on the publishing. So what I think is going to happen is logistically, it's going to be maybe 10 cent, but most likely probably a 
just investors. A bunch of dudes in Europe with fuck you money that have a company and they're gonna buy the company. The whole idea of fuck you money doesn't work if you're still being paid by the matrix. But then again, what's the point of having fuck you money if you never say fuck you? Mr. Mozza Dontorius, Mr. Midget 115, Money Shot Mozza, ever since the conception of this, what has been the ultimate goal? We have been trying to buy Ubisoft and it's looking more and more likely every day that goes past. What's going to happen is we're going to wait for it to drop and then boom, we're walking in. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. And we're going to tell them the ball's in your court. Oh!